challenging for people with disabilities and their families, but a local organization has been fighting for over six decades to make sure people with disabilities are treated fairly and given the opportunities that they need. And joining us this morning is Joanne Simons and Bill Kanata of Northeast Arc. Thank you so much for taking the time early on this Saturday to talk to us. First, let's talk about your mission. You help families who have loved ones with disabilities with so much, giving people with disabilities a sense of empowerment. Correct. We change lives every day. That's really the, the mission is to provide opportunities for people with intellectual disabilities and autism and related disabilities and their families, the opportunities to live full and productive lives in their community, whether or not it's um, guidance during a prenatal diagnosis or early intervention services, mm -hmm. employment, housing, recreation. It's, it's almost endless, the kinds of programs. I sort of liken us to Amazon. You know, you just, what do you need? You just look it yeah. up and we'll provide it. And you're evolving every year, right? And you're trying to figure out new ways to reach out to the community. And you did so very creatively by creating kind of like a Shark Tank version of Northeast Art. Can you explain that? Exactly. Well, we were challenged by uh, one of our donors, um, uh, Stephen Rosenthal of Marblehead, who is the uh, chairman of a private equity firm here in Boston, West Shore, who gave us a million dollars and said, you know, we'd like you to do something innovative and creative, something different, something that's going to move the needle for people with disabilities. So we came up with the idea of the Arc Tank, as you said, patent after the Shark Tank. We assembled a panel of expert judges, but before that, we solicited proposals from all over the world. And this is our set. We completed our second year the, um, this past November. Mm -hmm. We got over a hundred proposals from around the world. Uh, they were review reviewed by outside reviewers, and the seven best were chosen to uh, present their ideas and pitch them at the uh, in partnership with the John F. Kennedy Library Foundation in November. And it was a remarkable to see the kind of innovation and disruption that can happen to a field that has not received that mm. kind of innovation. Mm -hmm. You know, we want, we're looking for the Amazons and the Ubers and the, yeah. and the um, meal delivery systems, the way our lives have changed, and we haven't seen that, and that's what uh, we're, we're, we're champion. The big winner was the Autism Law Enforcement Education Coalition, and this is where, Bill, you come in. Tell us about the training that you provide for first responders and the connection to communities with disabilities. And um, how we started was back in 2003, a group of concerned parents and first responders got together and what we could see uh, nationally, contact with first responders and people with autism and uh, intellectual and developmental disabilities wasn't going so well. So we formed a group called ALEC. ALEC is comprised of uh, our trainers, our parents or a close relative of somebody on the spectrum. And um, what they bring to that training is their personal experience. So, and what we do is we train police officers, train police officers, mm -hmm. firefighters, train firefighters, EMS, trains EMS. So you're hearing it from one of your colleagues. And uh, our group has trained over 42,000 first responders to date. That's amazing. Yes, and we're based at the South, um, the Arc of South Norfolk. And um, what we do is re receive a state grant from DDS also mm -hmm. to do in state training, but with this grant to Northeast Arc, we're going to be able to expand that program uh, to other Arc chapters around the country. That is just wonderful. So we've run out of time. We can sit here and talk all day about what you guys do, which is incredible. A uh, quick website plug for people who may want to help by donating. www.any-arc.org, uh, but just Google the Arc Tank and you're going to be really amazed at to see how we've changed lives. All right. Thank you so much for what you do. And share this clip online so everyone else can also see what the Northeast Arc does on a daily basis. We'll